Hello, you guys. Welcome to tonight's live sizing and styling guide. If you're catching this part, you are probably catching the replay. Make sure to comment hashtag replay. Let us know that you were here and that you saw this. And if you hop on while we're live, say, hey, let us know you're here and that you're watching. Hoping I can see comments today. So say, hey. And this little thing, whenever I pin this post, it makes it like the whole screen for me, which is so goofy. It just started doing that like last week. So I think that was why at first I thought I couldn't see comments and now I just don't even know if I can see any. So say hello if you hop on. Oops. And it is Wednesday, our favorite day of the week. Hello. Oh, it's been a busy day. I already saw some of you this morning with my live with Reese. Wasn't that a, a treat, huh? <laughs> I just was cracking up at her after because she had like a 20 minute where she was really kind of like down in the dumps after the live and like just upset. And I was like, what's the problem? So I don't know if like she could tell I was maybe disappointed or if she was a little disappointed um, but she then came out of it, of course, and ate some snacks and let me do her hair. So it was funny, but kids, unpredictable, right? I cannot see comments today. Oh, so weird. I could see them this morning when I went live and now today I see no comments. I can see them on the laptop, but not on my phone. So strange. Can't see comments again, Kathy says. So weird, you guys. Oh... Oh, uh, y'all need to come to Texas and get your weather. Yucky, I'm sorry. It's sleeting there. It is doing nothing here. It is just cold, 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 cold. Um, but yeah, not, other than that, we have no precipitation. So that always makes me happy. <laughs> I'm not a huge winter lover. So whenever we can avoid um, snow, that makes me happy. But say hi. I can't see your comments. So goofy. Such a bummer. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. Some of you can see them. Some of you can't. All I can see is the pin as well. So weird. That's all I can see here too. But like this morning I could see comments and I don't know. So weird, weird, weird. And I'm not doing anything differently. So just makes you wonder. Makes you wonder what's happening in the Facebook world. But... We'll survive. Luckily, Christine can see her comments, so she can, can say hello to you all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this shared a few places. If you guys shared, thank you for sharing. That is what helps us build and grow and spread the word of the boutique. So we appreciate you sharing this thing. It's so goofy how this works lately. I don't know why it's like this, but... <laughs> Thank you guys for sharing. Um, oh, so what else was I going to tell you about today? I can't remember. I was thinking earlier about something I was going to tell you, and now I can't think about it. I mean, Reese, of course, she, like, drew my attention away for the day. Her little, like, sassy attitude was getting me, but <laughs> I tell you, that little girl, she keeps us going. And then we went home for dinner. That's what we did. Oh, we went home for dinner. We were starting to do a Valentine's prep, right, Christine? Yes, we were Valentine's doing prep. the kids, um, their little bags for school. So that's what we did, like, for an hour in between. We always run home and eat real quick and, oh, do that activity. So it is always fun. It's fun to go home and see them for a little bit. And then we come back here and keep working. I don't know why this is so stinking slow for me, but I'm just trying to get this shared and then we will start. <laughs> I hope everybody's had a wonderful day, middle of the week, Valentine's week. Who is ready? You guys, we got orders last night and today for some Valentine's goodies. So all of those shipped out. And like I said, we upgraded them to priority mail. So that way you guys can hopefully get your goodies in time for Valentine's Day this weekend. Who is going out on a date? We finally have restaurants open here in Michigan at um, a small capacity, but I bet that they are just going to be swamped since we've been closed for so long that I would imagine everybody is going to be trying to go out and celebrate and have a good meal out but it's a good time to get dressed up and do something fun so 
I keep looking like I can see your comments, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for them. I know, I waiting. I can see all of them. <laughs> well, I'm glad you can see them because I cannot. Okay, let me get this. I think one more place I'm going to share this and then we are good to go. And we're just going to call it good. It just, I used to be able to like click, 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 click and share to all the places that I share to. And now it makes me like individually do them all. Um, the last several weeks have been like this and it's such a pain. It's like it goes back and forth where it isn't consistent, where sometimes it works differently. And so, oh, yeah, so weird, you guys. So if you have two devices, then make sure to switch over to the other one and see if you can see the comments there. Because some of you, like Christine said, she can see them on the laptop, but not on her phone. Is that right? Correct. Yeah, so strange. So I don't know. This is just the way it is but yeah see. it's hit and miss it seems like half of the people can see comments and half can't so weird so weird but okay well I think we're just gonna call that good and we're gonna go ahead and get started so y'all don't have to keep waiting and I wish I could see who all was on here and saying hello because I can't even see when you guys are popping on but hi say hi let us know you're here we love to know that you are watching if you are new here today is a live sizing and styling guide we do these every Wednesday at 8 30 p.m eastern uh, where we go over the fits fabrics and all the details of the new goodies that we are releasing tonight they will release to the site shoprachelclark.com and also to the app if you don't have our app make sure to download it it's makes it for a great place for you guys to um, like shop and take control of your style stash rewards and all that kind of thing all in one place um, as well as we send some push notifications there for special sales and that kind of thing so make sure to download the app if you don't have it it's free on Google Play and on the App Store so if you don't have those make sure to get them but otherwise tonight's new goodies will release to the site as soon as the live is over where there you can shop all of the new releases as well as everything else that's on the site and there are a lot of goodies on there so um um, thank you guys for being here with us this Wednesday again. It's our girls night This is when we like to hang out and just kind of connect with you guys and go over all these details So if you have questions be sure to post them in the comments Thankfully Christine can see them She is here on the back end and she is going to be posting all the details about the outfit So if you guys um, can see the comments then make sure to take some notes of what you're going to be Shopping for on the site as soon as they load but you guys we have a fun mix of a good variety of things Some really pretty blouses some great ampersand. I think we have a new pair of Judy Blues. Um, so some good, good, good pieces coming tonight. So just hang out, relax, and I think we'll go ahead and get started. I won't be able to see your comment. Like that's the downfall. I can't see your comment. Yeah, what are you wearing? And what am I wearing? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question. You are wearing the meaning of life blouse. Okay, so I am wearing the meaning of life blouse. And you, I don't think I realized. So last week we were joking about um, changing over from song names to movie names. And I think that this was Monty Python. And since this was snake print, I was like, <laughs> so the meaning of life, you guys, there's a meaning behind all of these names. I tell you, they might not make sense to you, but they do to me. So um, this cute little blouse, you guys, we don't have a ton in the snake print, but I absolutely love this one. It is so pretty because it's a really great neutral tone. It's got a little bit of like some creamy tones in there or some taupes and then also purple. So it's a really pretty shade of purple this darker areas that you see are a dark purple not black um and so that is just a really pretty pretty detail on here this one does have like an angled bracelet cuff which is kind of cool so it has elastic here but then has like an angled detail so you can kind of blouse it up on your arm some if you want but it has that stretchy bracelet cuff that's not too snug at all it has a little bit of roominess in the body this one is let's see 100% rayon so it doesn't have a lot of stretch but I do have just some natural roominess throughout if you're new I'm about a size 6 8 I tend to always wear a small in tops but I'll let you know if I think that you need a size flex at all um, but it does have a little bit of a high low hemline a little bit longer in the back to give you some more coverage um, I would say in this one stay true to size I really love this because you can wear it out or you can do a front tuck and I have this one paired with the Judy blue high rise button fly rose gold button fly Christine's over there nodding nice. like I'm saying yeah. it right so these were new last week and they have just the most beautiful rose gold buttons which I love um to kind of feature those by doing a front tuck and showing them off because they are so pretty in person like when they came Christine and I were both gawking at them these also have a cuffed hem that you can take the cuff out which is going to add some more length for you tall gals who want to make sure that you have plenty of length you can take the cuff out 
Um, it's not tacked or anything. And then these are a destroyed denim, but I like that they have nice coverage there throughout your legs. So it's not like you see a whole lot of skin on them. But these are considered a high rise. They hit me just above my belly button. Judy Blues run true to sizing. I'm in the 728, which is my normal go-to Judy Blue size, and I love them. And you guys, we have some really great new earrings releasing tonight check out these. So these are from our favorite earring company, but look how fun these are. I believe this is the Maya collection is the name of this one. And um, these are actually a bigger dangle than we've had before. So this one is just a, I think it's linen white is what it's called, but it just has like a cool texture to it. And then it has that hoop. So it gives you a little bit more of a dangle. They're definitely a statement earring, um, but super lightweight as they are leather bonded to cork. So they're not really heavy. Um, we talk about those heavy earrings weighing our ear is down and kind of ruining our earlobes. These are so lightweight that you don't have to worry about that. So that is really nice. And for a fun, big statement earring, um, I love that detail. So just the white with that one to kind of bring this outfit together and give it a fun statement detail, but loving this top, stay true to size in it. And like I said, it has that kind of like a three quarter length idea of the sleeve. So you can kind of bunch it up if you want, or just let it hang. Um, well, I guess it's longer than three quarter length. That hits me just about at my wrist bone. Um, so you can kind of bunch them up if you want, or just let them hang long but I think that covers this one. Again, you guys, if you have any questions, make sure to post them in the comments and Christine will help you. If we miss anything or miss your comments or you can't see comments tonight, feel free to shoot us a message if you have questions because we know that it gets a little bit complicated when you can't see everything. Um, but feel free to send us a message if we do miss something that you comment or anything like that. And we are happy to help you guys. So I'm going to change real quick and I'll be right back out. Oh, hanger straps. Oh, boy. Low oh, hanger straps. How I Arch I nemesis. Love you. The hanger <laughs> straps. Love hate relationship. Oh, you guys, we have such fun new pieces today. Different things. Oh, shit, I gotta take my hate earrings. I fell for everything and now I'm close with hate earrings. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have earrings all picked out tonight for what I'm going to pair them with. And then I walked over here to this table and I'm like, what am I putting on with this? Okay, so we have another fun new earring. We have several new earrings today, you guys, which is awesome. We love our earrings, um, and I know you guys do, do too. They're a really great price, um, and they just really are a fun way to kind of top off your outfit and give it a fun little detail. So what am I wearing, Christine? You are wearing the I Am Woman peplum jacket Oh, this is in the black. I Am Woman peplum jacket in black, you guys. And we are like, okay, everybody's ready to start getting out of the house and start doing more things. Or you might be returning to work in person. And so we wanted to bring in a few pieces that were more appropriate for going out because we've been in such this like casual state of mind and everybody working from home. And I know some of you are still continuing to work from home, but you might want to have some clothes to go out for date night or to wear a little bit dressier and you guys this blazer is awesome so this is a peplum style blazer or jacket either way whichever you want to call it so with the peplum we get this cute little detail um that actually gives it the peplum hem but it gives it that little bit of extra flair here along the bottom so it's not a straight cut but it gives us that little bit of flowiness um and then it, this has your normal and we haven't ever had blazers i don't think we've had some peplum jackets way in the past but um what do you call this a lapel the lapel. the lapel. I know, I'm like, I have to learn some new words about all of this. So it has just this really nice lapel here. You can kind of see like it um, goes all the way around. This is a lighter weight material, so it makes it really nice for spring. And it actually has some stretch to it. It's 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So it does have some stretch and some give, so it's not real fitted. You can see I naturally have some room in the sleeve. Um, and it's just a really cute, cute, cute piece to add to your wardrobe. I, again, just paired it here with that fun, um, pair of distressed denim and then with which top is this that is the give love a chance give top. love a chance top so this is a tiered top 
Um, it's just a short sleeve one. It's a blouse, so it's a little bit more on the dressy side. You can easily wear this with a cute little tee if you wanted to dress it down just a tad, but it makes it really cute to pair with a bright blouse. I love this black and white. It's definitely a white, not an ivory, with just that like um, hot pink pop to it. So love, love, loving this combo. Um, and I love this peplum jacket. It has great sleeve length, super comfortable. And like I said, with the stretch, it is just such a nice fit. It has a little bit of gathering here around the shoulder to give you just a little bit of that like puff sleeve look, but there aren't any shoulder pads. We're not going back that far or anything <laughs> in it. Yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Who knows with Gen, Gen Z, right? Gen what they're, Z. what they're going to do to us, but, um, just such a cute, cute piece. And then I paired it with this fun earring that is, um, new to us tonight. And this one is an animal print and floral, kind of a little mix. So it pulled out some of those, both the different colors that we have going on here and some of those tones. Um, if you guys like something, what was I going to say? That was more, nope. That was with a different one that I had two options out. So this is a really cute one. Of course, we have tons of other just black or neutral earrings. That would be a cute combo for this, you guys, but absolutely loving this little peplum jacket. And it's so great. It's work appropriate, but it's also fun for a date night, girls night out or that kind of thing. So if you guys have questions on this, um, I'd say stay true to size. I'm here in the small. If you're real chesty and you want to have more coverage in the front, I would say you could go up a size, but you certainly don't need to for the body fit. And especially with this being open front, there is no button closure um, that you can stay true to size and you will be just fine in this one, but so stinking cute. And I'm going to go ahead and get changed. So I'll be right back. Oh, I'm gonna need my my face shield tonight. Pull me in. Is it a face shield or a closed shield? Uh, face bag. <laughs> face bag. Face bag. It is a face bag. Well, I'm shielding the clothes, so I feel like it's a more appropriately called a. You can think that, but Ian <laughs> will strongly disagree with you and tell you that it is a face bag. A face bag. Well. You know, call it what you will, but I need to make sure that I have that handy tonight. Oh boy. Okay. I'm working my way out here. <laughs> um we have a few restocks today in some of our macrame earrings. They just came in this evening. We literally picked them up when we went to dinner. I know a couple of you were waiting on them and I said I'd message you when they came in and I have not had any time to yet. So um, we have some macrames. These are the two and a half inch ones. So they run, uh, they're a little bit smaller. We also had three inch three inch, I think, or three and a half inch yes. that were just a bigger, more statement earring. So this one is new um, to us. It's We've had this style before, but not in the mustard. And then we also have a restock in it, just in case you were one of those waiting and I haven't had a chance to message you yet. Restock in the rust. Um, and then also a restock in the, I think this one was called Blush Rose. Yes. I think it was the color of this one. Um, and these, you guys, have been super popular colors. And so we made sure to restock those. And then we also have a new one today that you guys will see in a gray. Um, so the mustard and the gray are both new. But I, you guys, am in this outfit, which is a little more neutral than what I was just in. Little, oh my gosh, did I see a comment? Oh no. <laughs> I thought I saw a comment. It was a different notification. I got excited for a second. Um, so this is a little bit more neutral tones than what we were just in, in that bright hot pink and the black. And this is called what, Christine? What's the name Which of this one cardigan? What do you want to talk about? Cardigan. cardigan? Oh, well, that would be the Forget Yesterday Open Front Cardigan. Okay, so this is the Forget Yesterday Open Front Cardigan, you guys. This one comes in this really pretty, like, creamy color cream creamy cream like a buttery cream creamy color cream. and then also in um, a lighter gray so some really good neutral tones they run true to size they have little pockets on the front and they're really just like the perfect throw on and go cardigan something that you can have in your closet in neutral tones that you can throw on during this like colder weather time or when you want to have that cardigan just sitting in your office able to throw on these are some really great ones for that um the, we this one is not new tonight so it is on the site already this one is a hundred percent 
matte acrylic. Um, it is like a, a little bit more of a heavy rib to it, uh, but nice and stretchy. Runs true to size, so no need to size flex in this one. You can go down a size if you're in between sizes, um, but otherwise these are a pretty true to size cardigan. So I just wanted to point to that one out and show it with this outfit because here in Michigan, we will be layering for a while. Yeah, yeah. it is not t-shirt weather Sadly. or short sleeve weather, but I know for some of you it is, or if you're prepping for vacations and that kind of thing, we have a appropriate clothing on the way and a few releasing tonight. So um, what is the name of this top? That is the I'll Be There Leopard Print Tee. Okay, so this is the I'll Be There Leopard Print Tee, you guys, in a, um, it's a creamy, a little bit of like a creamy white, um, and then has mustard and charcoal tones here in the leopard print. This cute little V-neck that you can kind of see has like just this nice neckline on it, something a little bit different where you um, actually have like, I wouldn't call it a collar. What would you say? that this um mm, oh, I, I mean a hemline is um, yeah is it? i don't know but anyways it's just a cute little detail there where it comes down to this v and then you have this nice little cap sleeve so it's not a real long sleeve but it also isn't a tank so if you're somebody here you're like i can't pull the tank off i need to have some sort of sleeve this gives you a little bit of coverage there on your arm um these have some natural roominess to them I, the material is a lightweight baby French Terry. So it is 65 poly, 32 ram, 3% spandex, lightweight baby French Terry. So it's not super lightweight. It's not sheer in any way. Um, and I would say these are going to run true to size for the intended fit with that roominess. Again, this makes a really cute one to do a little front tuck with if you want. It'd be cute with shorts if you're in short weather or when short weather gets here. But um, I absolutely love this and I love the colors in it. This would be a cute one too that you can dress up like with a nice cardigan and black pants um, and just make a really cute combo and I love it with these mustard earrings so this is a really great one again stay true to size for that intended fit with that little bit of roominess but there is stretch to it so if you're in between sizes and you want it a little more fitted you can surely go down a size so that way it fits you a little bit more in the midsection um, and you don't have so much room in there just depending on how you want it to fit is where we say like you can size flex some um, out of like your normal true to size so that way you have that you know, it, you have that option depending on how your desired fit is. So I think that covers this one and I'm going to go ahead and get changed again. <laughs> oh, Phil. <laughs> and love Phil Collins. Am I allowed to say that? Oh, you guys, you know what I was going to tell you about? Hold on, I got my, my face bag on. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Y'all, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> it's just the most ridiculous thing that you ever did see. Um, I was going to tell you, so I named a shirt after somebody's suggestion last week that Facebook rejected us allowing to post <laughs> in our Facebook <laughs> shop. Because they said that it promoted alcohol or drug use because of the name. And so I had to be careful today when I was naming things. Because I'm like, it had really had nothing to do with alcohol or drugs um, in the title. But apparently they made a connection to the song. And <laughs> so I'm like, I'm going to have to be careful and make sure that I'm not um, naming these after anything that could possibly allude to something inappropriate. It has been decided that you're drinking while rocking the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just had to chuckle when I uh, saw that as I'm like, okay. Because what did I say today? Christine was on like gin and juice, I think, like whatever yes. that song was. And I'm like, well, I guess since I'm loading the stuff, I'm going to have to name a shirt after gin and juice. And she's like, nope, you can't. <laughs> she remember last week? That'll get that item kicked. I'm like, oh, Facebook, you can be so finicky. Just like right now. Why? Well, they're comments. Something just isn't working right. Oh. I wonder if it makes a difference if you start it in the group or in the... I always start on the business page because I can't share it from the group. So, uh, it's so fun figuring it all out. Um, but it's being goofy for you. I can't get it on my phone. Oh, is it live at all? Yeah. Oh, just my comments. Okay. All right, you guys. 
Um, well, like I said at the beginning, we have a fun release of some new ampersand items. Um, we have a lot of ampersand items that are going to be strolling in throughout the next several months um, because we placed these orders so far in advance. But you guys, just some awesome beauty. So, you know, I put that post up yesterday, like, what's your favorite ampersand item? It's so hard to choose because they're so good in like all their own little ways. Um, so this is an ampersand Avenue single hood sweatshirt in, what's the name of this one? The color? Maple. In maple, which I'd say is a really nice color, um, for that one to be called. It's a little bit on like the goldish side. Um, not a mustard, but a little bit more of a gold tone to it. So it's a really great single color, um, just a go-to basic hoodie. So the single hoods, if you haven't tried one before, they have just a single hood and it kind of gathers a little bit in the front overlap. So it gives you like a little bit more um, of like a turtleneck type look to it, but you have this hood that you can use if you want to. And then it has your two strings here that are working. You can pull them tight or loosen if you want. Sometimes I loosen them up. Like if I want um, to use the hood, then I would loosen that up some. It has two side pockets. Pockets, so that it has the welt pockets that are kind of, you know, hidden there. It doesn't have the kangaroo pocket that goes all the way through. It has the welt pockets. And then these are all fleece lined, which makes them a little bit on the warmer side. Now these do have great stretch to them. They're considered a triple stretch, I believe, is, or super stretchy. You can see that there is stretch here and um, there is some stretch here. But one thing is that we find is that because they're a little thicker, some people like to size up in them to give you some extra room. Now I'm shown here the small, which is usually my go-to ampersand size. I would stay in this size. I would stay in the small, but if you like more room in your midsection, then going up a size does not hurt. Um, Christine, do you remember what size you wear? You kind of can flex in these from like an extra large to the three X, can't you? Yes. I mean, my true size is extra large, but in the single hoods, because of them being thicker, in the style pocket. In the style pocket, so you don't get any like buckling there. Yes, I go up to the 2X in yep. the single hood. Okay, so Christine likes to go up a size so that she has that little bit of extra room in the midsection and in the hips, um, but they do have nice stretch to them. So just depending on your desired fit again, I like them to be a little bit straighter cut. I like the length that comes with the ampersands, and I usually stay in my true to size small. So you, this is where you flex a little bit depending on your desired fit. Now, uh, we have a new pair of leggings here you guys um i'm in the medium right so you are in the medium okay so you guys if you have tri tried the oh glossy liquid leggings the foiled leggings high waist, high waist leggings um the stars the stars the laser cut laser cut thank you christine You're for welcome. filling in all my blanks um <laughs> i didn't go to sleep tonight or this morning until like 4 45 and then i got up at seven with the kids and then i was here to do a live with reese so i am like just going 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 today <laughs> and i'm like i'm starting to like lose i think brain cells throughout the day um so christine's just helping me out but you guys these are the same brand as all of those so if you've tried those leggings they are phenomenal they're so comfortable and these are so stinking cute did you bring a pair of these for you yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna grab them because you can't see. Okay, how that's what I was gonna say. So these are a solid black, and then on the bottom of these have the coolest um, raindrop like foiling. We're gonna grab a pair so you can see them up close. And I don't know if this was called copper. Is that what color they called this? They yes. called it copper, um, but it is just the funnest detail. Uh, these run consistent with the sizing in the other leggings that we listed off at the beginning, but look how cool that is. Like it starts lighter and then um, gets like much heavier in the bottom. So it's kind of like raindrops or snow falling and gathering. So it's, and there's none of that up here at the top and then it just gets thicker and it has that really cool look. So these are fun for active wear. Um, they are fun to dress up if you want to. They're fun for just a comfy outfit like this. If you want to pair it with your favorite sweatshirt and with that being copper on there, it's really a neutral and you can pair it with just about anything. If you've tried the leggings before that we listed off, they run true to size per the size chart. So I'm in the medium. Um, I'm about a six, eight. Follow that size guide, you guys. The size chart is on the site with the leggings. And if you've tried them before, all those that we listed, same sizing on these super consistent. They do have built-in tummy control. I like to call it um, a tummy tuck that I get from my $30, $28, however much these are leggings. Like I'm like, it's the best tummy tuck, the cheapest tummy tuck out there. Um, but just love, love, love these. They are considered a high waist, 
I'm like, do they have any little hidden secrets? Nope, but they are just fabulous. So you guys are going to love those. And I just love it paired with this one, Ampersand. I threw on, we have some new earrings today too. Where did I put this little? Oh, right here. Um, so we have some new triplet sets today. I threw on this little black and white chevron one just as a great neutral, but you guys, we have some really cute sets releasing, uh, that have different colors in them. This one is great because it has some basics and then that black and white neutral. I just love this white that's kind of iridescent. So it's a really pretty shimmer there. Again, lightweight, super easy to wear. They fit on your earlobe nicely. And I always have to tell you, um, we sell these larger backs as a set. They are two bucks for a set of 20. I like the larger backs versus the little um, plastic or the little like rubber backs that come with them. So you can always add on one of those back sets for the 20 pack. Um, I like them because I feel like they hold my earring in place a little bit better and more flush to my ear. So it's an option that you guys can add, but I always like to point that out. If you feel like you've tried them and you feel like they're falling out of your ears, grab some of those backs and it will surely help. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get changed again. I feel so lonely when I can't see your comments. I know, and now I was just thinking, no comments, and the music has to be turned down low, <laughs> or Facebook is going to shut that off. It's just a very quiet, chill vibe in here, <laughs> which is not normally us. <laughs> You know, after my live with Reese today, I'm okay with like just a chill, quiet live. <laughs> I, you know, it's a very humbling reminder of like we always strive for perfection and you know, of course we're not perfect. Like we are human and make mistakes, but it's like when our kids are unpredictable and they have little minds of their own, of their own, <laughs> little minds of their own. And you're just like, well, we're just going to have to go with it because this is what it is, and it's just a reminder that not everything goes our way all the time. We'll just have to come up with a way to distract her. <laughs> I know. Other than a sucker, a makeup book, and a tablet. <laughs> <laughs> I was sure, though, that her tablet would um, be a good source of distraction, but she wanted nothing to do with that during that live, so oh. such is life. You need some easier shoes over there. I know. I I'm struggling know. with a tennis shoe. <laughs> and I'm so warm. <laughs> I just said to Christine before the live started, I'm like, I'm always so cold getting dressed in this first outfit. And then by like outfit two, it seems like it's 20 degrees warmer in this room. It's all this like hot air I'm blowing out when I'm talking and <laughs> this running around. <laughs> okay. Are you waiting for your comment? Um, no. <laughs> I was going to show them a few more sets of these little earrings oh, okay. on real quick. Okay. Okay, because I can't put all of these on today, and some of them are going to be duplicates. But you guys, super cute new sets of these triplets. This is a really good one. I actually think we maybe had this one before. It's a gunmetal, um, silver leopard, and a black. And then this is a really great basic one. And these all are set in the rose gold setting, which is super pretty. So you have just your, like, diamond, rose gold, and then the black looking jersey beads. And then this is one that some of you request some smaller sizes. So this is a really cute one you get the rose gold in eight millimeter the black in 10 millimeter and then this new leopard print um in the 12 millimeter so you get a variety of sizes and you guys there are just several new ones like that today and a couple of restocks i think of some of our most popular ones that sell out all the time this one is a restock where you get a tan leopard and then those two pretty jersey beads in the pink and the oh what is that one not diamond but crystal so that's a really good one. And then this is another restock, this nude leopard, where you get that pretty, just nude, great go-to flower, and then the black and another leopard. So you guys, these are really cute sets. Here's another one with three three different sizes. Yep, the eight millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 12 millimeter. So some good variety there, but in some great basics that are like your go-tos um, for earring sets. So, okay, next up, I should have looked at the tag since the names are listed on here. Um, next up, you guys, we have a new Ampersand Avenue half zip. So we went from that uh, single hood to a half zip. And you guys, um, this is like the comfiest little combo ever. Um, I am in love with the half zips. They might be one of my favorites, but it's so hard for me to pick because I wear an Ampersand like five 
days a week, don't I? <laughs> it was like my go-to, especially with like us not really being in the boutique room yet. Like they are just my, they're my go-to comfy clothes. Um, okay, so this one is called what, Christine? It is the Ampersand Half Zip All Out of Love. All Out of Love is the name of this one. And you guys, it is the solid black Super stretchy, triple stretch, super stretchy one. Um, this does have a kangaroo pocket on the front, half zip, so it zips down to right there where you guys can see. You can definitely zip these up. It has this super cute coordinating material here, or coordinating, coordinate contrasting, coordinating, coordinating material in um, this dark heather charcoal gray uh, with the black polka dot you guys and that's on the inside of the hood too so cute I absolutely love that because I feel like it's a neutral polka dots are a neutral like leopard is a neutral but just so stinking cute and you guys these are true to size too with that great stretch so um I'm again shown here in the small love 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 the fit of this one uh with that super stretchiness um, it's one that you can, again, if you like more room in the midsection, you can size up one. Otherwise, stay true to size, um, but it has that really nice stretch to it. And then I have this paired with the new Judy Blue Performance Fleece. No. Nope. Ampersand? Ampersand. Not <laughs> These are not Judy Blues. <laughs> Ampersand Avenue Performance Fleece Joggers in Black. So you guys, we um, had the camo joggers, which you will see tonight um, again, but these are the Ampersand Avenue in the solid black performance fleece. So if you tried anything in the performance fleece, it is so, so stinking soft, super stretchy. I say super stretchy. Ampersand considers it a medium stretch, but I think it has really great stretch to it. Um, I am shown in the, what size did you? Medium. Medium. See, so good, isn't it, that she's here? I don't even know what size I'm wearing. So I sized up in the camo um, to a medium, and I'm in a medium here. I'd say sizing is super consistent with them, where I am comfortable in the medium. I do the same. I wouldn't go down to a small, even though these have a little bit, I think, more stretch than the camo. So stay, if you tried the camo, stay in the same size as these. Um, but Typically, let's see, I would say that they come in extra small through 3X, as do all the Ampersand Avenue items that we bring in. So all of the hoodies, um, extra small through 3X. In these, I would consider a size 2-4 to be a small. Extra small is going to be your like size 0. So 2-4 is going to be a small. 6-8 is going to be in the medium. And then 10-12 um, would be the large. Does that sound right to you, Christine? Oh, I wasn't listening to the <laughs> Extra large, 12, 14. And then XXL or 2XL would be like, like 14, 16. Yes. Yeah, so you're going to kind of overlap depending on how much roominess you want. Christine says like she would size up to the 2X just to give her that little bit of extra room in the leg um, being like a size 14, 16. So super comfortable. And then I would say the 3X is going to be an 18, 20. But love, love, love them. They do have that adjustable drawstring here. So that is working. Pockets on the side. And they're a jogger style. So they have that banded cuffer on the bottom. Um, but it all in the performance fleece. All of them are performance fleece. So, fleece, so there's no ribbed material or anything on them they are fabulous if you guys have sizing questions please don't hesitate to ask us but they are so comfortable and great i'm just i might live in these i think they're so soft <laughs> i could just like keep rubbing them they're so stinking New soft uniform. so form instead of jeans and ampersand, it's gonna be <laughs> yeah and instead of jeans and Am judy blues and ampersand i'm moving to the joggers and ampersand and then you guys i just have this layered over one of our seamless camis Right? Seamless, seamless cami? Seamless tank. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Seamless tank um, in hot pink. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you guys, these make really great to layering pieces. They run quite fitted, so they're not the most pretty um, underneath because they run more on the fitted side, but they definitely are great for layering and kind of tuck in nicely. Um, or they're nice to pull over your pants if you want to kind of like hide buttons and pockets and that kind of thing. But they are just awesome. We have them in several colors and I do have a restock on the way of some of them that we're out of so if we're out of your color and size don't worry more will be coming but okay I'm gonna go ahead and get changed Christine are you coming out here no I just wanted to know what size I wore <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you go out there in all of my contrasting fabrics <laughs> you are she's so mean to me how am I so mean to her <laughs> no, if I stay 
close enough to the camera, you won't see my leopard patch with my polka dots. I just wanted to see how many different styles I could get into one look. Hi, beauties. If you are new here tonight, thanks for joining us. I'm Rachel's sister, and just for some reference, I am typically a size 14, 16 in jeans, and I wear a large, extra large, or 1X in tops. And so I just popped on this ampersand. This was the first time I put this on. I pulled an extra large for myself, which is my true ampersand size. Um, and when I was asked what size I would wear, I wanted to put it on just to make sure. And so extra large is definitely the perfect fit in this. One of the reasons why I stay true to size, well, two of the reasons, the stretch in the fabric and the other is the kangaroo pocket. Rachel was mentioning earlier that when there are two separate side pockets, sometimes that forces me or I choose to be forced to size up one to the 2x just to give a little bit more room in the tummy area so that I don't have a form-fitting sweatshirt with two chunky pockets sitting right there. With the kangaroo pocket, it's so smooth across your stomach that I don't feel the need to size up for pocket room. And then on top of it, with this one being so stretchy, there's just no need. I mean, you can see that it's just pulling in every different direction. There's so much stretch to this. This one's pretty. I might not take this one off. <laughs> I was getting a little chilly sitting back behind the computer. What? So, well, I'm not out in front of the light changing. I'm not, I'm not on like outfit eight, right? So it's not that hot back there for me. So I was getting a little chilly. We are in, other than this wall, an all glass room. So... When it's cold outside, it gets cold in here. Y'all, I'm just stalling now because Rachel's hanging up clothes. I just need to breathe for a second. I have to tell you this hilarious meme that I've been seeing, especially since we're talking about how cold it is in Michigan, because I woke up this morning and it was in the negatives. And so there's this meme floating around that says, Michigan is literally 30 plus degrees colder than a refrigerator. Because... Well, yeah, if you think about it, your refrigerator is set in the 30s and we're in the negative. So we're 30 plus degrees colder than a fridge. Okay, I'm getting off of here before I say anything else crazy. And I think Rachel's ready with her next outfit. And I have to find the name of it anyway because, well, the comment's not going to pop up. Welcome to today. Um... Okay, guys, I love this. I am loving blouses. I'm like, I live in ampersand, but I am loving blouses. <laughs> um, I think, like, as soon as we're open in the boutique, I'll, like, get, actually get dressed a little bit more. Uh, so I'm like, I'm going to have to bulk up my, my blouse category in my closet. Um, this is fantastic. Christine, what's the name of it? This one is such a thrill. This one is such a thrill. Striped blouse. Striped blouse. And you guys, this is a beautiful navy and white. I had to do a double take because I thought it was black and white in the stock photo. It is navy and white. And just look at this pretty detailing here with that cool square or black like collar um, neck neckline, collar neckline that we have on it. This cute little billowing sleeve. So again, bracelet cuff here with baby elastic. So it is really nice and um, fine. So it doesn't feel like it's like really super tight there, but it gives you just that cute little bit of um, billowing there in your sleeve. It's a nice roomy fit. You have some pleating here that gives you that extra bit of roominess in the body. And then a slight, again, high, low hemline on this. And that has the sweetest little back. Of course, I couldn't, like, I didn't retie this before I put it on. I should have. I, I would have helped you with that. I think that. it's a little twisted. You were busy talking about memes. Um, but it has the sweetest little tied back on there, which I absolutely love. And I really like it because you can wear a normal bra without it showing anywhere. Um, I know that's always a question. What kind of bra do you wear? Can you wear a normal bra with it? And you absolutely can in this one. So it is just a nice fit in here. Nice and roomy. I would say for sure, stay true to size in this. Even if you're chesty, no need to size up in it. Um, but it's a really cute length. This would be adorable come like spring and summertime wearing with a white pant. I just can see it styled so cute. Um, and I just love the details. Anytime that I have a blue and white stripe, I always feel like it's a little bit um, like nautical and I just love that vibe. And I have these paired with a new pair of Judy Blues. Um, so I actually am in Judy Blues this time around, but these are a really cute new pair of um, high-waisted Judy Blues 
These are the Distress Knee. Knee Just, destroyed. Knee, dis <laughs> knee destroyed is what Judy Blue has them called. Um, and so you guys, these are really cute because they have a, a raw edge along the bottom. I would say these run a tad bit on the shorter side. Do you know the inseam of this one? 20, oh, 28 and a half. 28 and a half inch inseam on this one. So it hits me just about at my ankle, um, but it's a cute raw edge detail there. And then you have a heavier distressing. So like the last ones that I had on when I said, um, you know, they were distressed, but you had coverage. So this one has more of that, the broken threads in there. So it doesn't give you as much coverage. Um, but I love a good destroyed denim. So these are considered high waist. They hit me just at my belly button on this pair. So just kind of a covering up my belly button. Um, and they run true to Judy Blue sizing. So I'm shown here in the 728. So comfortable, super cute. And I just love that fun hemline along the bottom. Um, and I just love these. They're so cute. I'm loving those raw edge hemlines that we're seeing more. I think they were on our bell bottoms, which you guys will see today. Bell bottoms flares, mm -hmm. um, which you guys will see again today. But love, 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 love them. So comfortable and run true to size. And then I threw on this cute little earring just because it has the navy and white stripe. This one actually has a little bit of a light floral over top of it. These are considered our itty bitties. All of the new um, dangles, except for those new that Maya collection, are all going to be itty bitties tonight. They are about an inch and a half in total length, so they're not super, um, ha they're not super big, so they're not a huge earring if you like something a little smaller and they're all genuine leather so they're lightweight um and they're again not going to weigh your ear down or anything like that but just some really cute combos and some cute springy earrings are coming and releasing tonight and all that stuff so as well as some of those great um like we said the um neutral neutral tones and some of our best sellers that we restocked so super cute earrings but i'm gonna go ahead and get changed again and i will be right back I feel like whenever we have these new joggers and leggings, I'm doing so many more pant changes <laughs> in a live. And that's when I get so warm, I think, is when I'm in and out of six different pairs of pants in like four outfits. And shoes. I mean, and there's shoes. more activity. There's some bending over in I think I'm just going to leave there's, these on. You know, there's all kinds of things. Oh, yeah, those are perfect with it. Which one? The shoe? Are you talking about the shoe? I yeah. don't know what we're talking about. Oh. Nope. You said I'm just going to leave these on. So Yeah, that's what I meant. My I shoes. thought the shoe. <laughs> That's what I meant. Okay, so with Valentine's, we were like, let's bring out this cute little cardigan. So this is the cardigan that we brought in kind of, not really for Valentine's. It was more for, you know, spring in mind, but it fit really well with our Valentine's collection. But we like to I suggest other ways that you can wear things so you're not limited to only wearing them for a holiday. Um, so we love, love, love this cardigan. Um, and of course, it has no hearts on it. It doesn't, it's not Valentine's specific in any way, but we just loved it paired with some of our Valentine's tees and that kind of thing. So this is a really super cute one um, in the color block detail here. It has a couple of front pockets in it. It's a little bit of a roomy fit. So I'd say if you run in between sizes, you could surely size down one in it um, or go with the smaller size if you're in between sizes. But we have a paired with that. Um, what was the name of this? Of course, I can't remember even though I already had one on. That one is the I'll Be There. I'll Be There. Leopard print top. Leopard print top in, in pink. pink. So we already saw this one in the mustard colorway, but this is the pink colorway. Um, and this one is on a charcoal background. The other one was on a cream background with that uh, mustard or marigold color with it. And this one is on the charcoal background. So a really cute combo again with the charcoal pink and then a little bit of a creamy white color um, and just fun with this cardigan. So you guys, this is a cute one. If you guys have this cardigan, if you snatch it up, it's a cute way to wear it. And I like to do, like I said, when I had that other one on a cute little front tuck with it um, to give that a little bit more shape but love this combo together i'll show you this tee if you missed it earlier um oh and i threw on this earring because i thought it was fun for pattern mixing uh, to bring out some of those pink tones but again this is part of that my collection in the pink chevron and then if you're somebody who you're like i don't do pattern mixing this is a really great um one to do which is the <laughs> christine's laughing because i have two different earrings on i was like we're gonna i'm gonna <laughs> double time this um in this cute honeycomb in i can't remember if it's called pink or mauve um but this is a new one released 
increasing tonight as well. So a great neutral. Um, it's just darker in areas where that leather is pressed in at. So it just gives you that little bit of a variation in color from that, but that's a good one. So either one of these, if you're not a big statement earring or pattern mixing, or you just like something more neutral and a little smaller, this is a good option. But love, love, love this tee. Again, you guys, runs true to size, a lightweight baby French terry. So it's not, um, there's, it's not sheer in any way. You can't see through. It gives you that little bit of like a cap sleeve. And it looks like there's a cuff here in the sleeve, but there isn't. So it makes it nice for layering because it's not real, real thick there. Um, so you can throw it on under a cardigan and you're not going to see that, you know, or it looks like a cuff, but it's not cuffed. So, um, love this tee again, true to size, great basic. And I think it's a pretty good price point for, um, a great piece to add to your collection for spring and summer that you can layer right now and then wear throughout summer. So I think that covers this one. And again, I just have it with those new knee destroyed jet legging jeans. <laughs> <laughs> jeans from Judy Blue. Oh, um, so anyways, love that combo. Goodness. Christine's need, gonna fire I need me. a sip of water. <laughs> <laughs> I need a sip of water. Oh gosh. Christine's gonna fire me. What is happening? Okay. Swirl. Get it together, Rachel. Right, Christine? Yes. She's not even listening. It's like I'm not even here. Okay. Well, if you're living in um, the less than 30 degrees colder than uh, refrigerator temperatures, right? More than 30 yes. degrees colder than a refrigerator. Oh my goodness, you couldn't see Tammy Sipes' comment that it is negative 34 in North Dakota. I was gonna say today. she's in North Dakota, yes, right? Yes, that's negative disgusting. That Do is the kids disgusting. go to school when it's negative 34? I don't even know if they're in school there right now um, with COVID and all the restrictions, but do they go to school when it is that cold? That is my question. Because here in Michigan, they would not. No. They would cancel it. Yeah, they would cancel school. We're not that tough. <laughs> <laughs> we are not that tough. We we're think weak. we're from like the cold tundra, but we are not that tough. We are weak. <laughs> we are weak. We are weak. Yes, that is true. Um, so, okay, you guys. Well, I wanted to show you guys this cute little combo. I love, love, love layering hoodies um, and vests, especially when you live in the cold weather like we do. So this is a um, vest that we brought in. It's going to do weird things because I'm in black. This is a vest that we brought in and restocked because it was such a hit and everybody wanted it. Um, so if you haven't snatched one, um, be sure to snatched one up be sure to it comes in two different colors this black and then a heathered um one that's like a creamy color and a black so it looks kind of like a gray um but you guys these are so stinking cute they are sherpa lined and so soft i love them because they comfortably zip and also button um so you can wear them either way open just zipped or zipped and buttoned but i love the details of course the other one you can see a little bit better on camera than the black but I just love these. They have a little hood on them, um, which I'm double hooding, triple hooding it right now in my double hood sweatshirt. But I just love these for layering, especially for when you have the days that are cold, but you don't need a full winter jacket. You want to run errands, go to the grocery store, have a nice layer. Um, these types of vests are awesome for that. So this is a knit, like a cable knit on the outside, Sherpa lined, and they are just amazing. It is called the Too Cute To Be True yep. Vest black got it yes. um that's just because i've like posted and talked about it so many times that i can remember but i absolutely love that and i love them layered like i said over a half zip over a hoodie um they're just so sneaking cute and even over a t-shirt or a long sleeve thermal or um something like that they can be adorable so we have another new ampersand tonight this one is a, a double hood and it is in this beautiful charcoal um with contrasting contrasting colors yes that's contrasting <laughs> contrasting colors um with a black so black details are what on your on your thumb holes and then also inside your hood now you guys this one is i think it's a performance fleece isn't it it might not be called that but that's sure what it feels like it is so so soft just like the performance fleece super duper stretchy um and you guys this one has some some little subtle details to it I don't even know if you'll be able to see. It has a little black ampersand logo here. And then like the um, 
oh, we had a gray, blue, or dusty blue one that had ampersand down the sleeve. This one does as well, but it really, because it's the black on the charcoal, it's really a subtle detail. Um, so I just love that because I... I love ampersand and I love representing, uh, but it's just, it's also not like in your face. So if you're like, mm, I don't really do logos, you almost can't even see them. So it's one of those that it's like, it's kind of a good in-betweener where you can see it, but you can't really see it. Um, so it's not like a play, pasting a big old white ampersand logo on it. Um, super stretchy, you guys. Tons and tons of stretch in these. Again, shown in the small here. Um, plenty of room. This would be a stay true to size in one, I'd say unless you like an oversized hoodie go up one size this one has the welt pockets on the side so just the two pockets on on the sides there and not the kangaroo pocket and it runs true to size super comfortable you guys i love 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 this love some of these basic colors um that make it easy to like pair different things with and switch it up so that is this one and this one is called just the ampersand avenue double hood ampersand ave in charcoal yes. <laughs> it's like a double double name but so cute and then of course if you haven't tried one of these you have the little side zipper detail which is cute it is just it's a faux zipper i mean it's a working zipper but it's a faux detail there just to give you that cute look and then your double strings here and the double hood i would say too Sometimes people will say like the double hoods, there's a lot of material here. With this one being in this like performance fleece feeling one, it doesn't seem like there's as much material um, gathering uh, because it's just such a much lighter weight and like pliable material versus the ones that are really thick uh, that kind of really bunch up together some. So I would say if you are on the fence about double hood, if you're like, mm, some of them I have are super thick, I feel like I'm wearing a turtleneck. This one doesn't quite feel that way because of how soft that material is and it kind of moves around. So, okay, I think that covers that. And now I'm going to go ahead and get changed again. There's part of me that thinks that you're going to have issues with the name of this next shirt too. Why? I don't think Peta's going to be happy with it. What's it called? When Doves Cry. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. You got blacked for alcohol. <laughs> Even though there was no alcohol in it, but now you have Listen. a shirt called When Doves Cry. Well, do you think that Prince got in trouble for using that? Everybody wasn't so soft in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. We're a little more sensitive. <laughs> We're much more tolerant of things. <laughs> Obviously, I was listening to Prince earlier <laughs> when I named this shirt. Okay. Um, should I maybe move on for this? Oh, yeah, I was going to throw on these little gray, oh, gray guys here. Very okay, cute. so we have another new pair of macrame. I told you all that you were going to see these today or earlier because I showed you the other colors that we were releasing. Um, this is the gray pair. Love these. So, again, two and a half inch macrame. They still a little bit are a statement earring, but they're a little smaller. We also had three inch ones that um, were quite kind of appeared quite a bit bigger. So, these are a fun statement earring and just super cute. I have those same knee destroy jeans on from Judy Blue. And then I have this cute little cardigan. This is what we call the eyelash cardigan. What's the name of it? The official picnic in the park. Picnic in the park cardigan. And you guys, this is again, we showed you the other, a couple other great basic layering pieces, the too cute to be true vest. And then also um, the other cardigan that I can't remember the name of. But these are just some really great layering pieces. So this one, if you're not into the long cardigan or you run a little bit on the shorter side and you like something a little shorter, this is perfect. I mean, I love the length of this as well, and I'm 5'7". Um, but this definitely is one that it doesn't quite cover your bum, but it just is a really cute, easy to throw on basic color cardigan in this great shade of gray. We also have this available in a pink, but love, love, love these for layering this time of year, especially with some of these lighter weight blouses when you're like, it's long sleeve, but it's not super warm. And I live in Michigan or North Dakota where it's <laughs> negative 35 degrees today. Um, and you still need to be layering in something warm over top of a blouse. This is a really great go-to one. They run true to size. They, this one does button closed. It has three buttons, four buttons here that close. Um, and I'd say true to size, no matter how you'd want to wear it, but it's just such a pretty knit. And then I had this paired with a new blouse today. And I love this one because I feel like the colors are saying spring is coming. Um, so the name of this one is 
When doves cry. Oh yeah, when doves cry. <laughs> the when doves cry blouse. Um, in this gorgeous paisley print, it just has some really great shades in it. And you guys, I don't even know if y'all can see them so well. There's some gorgeous lilacs in here. A little bit of um, like a baby blue tone, and then some great plums. It would be really pretty with a pair of plum earrings, and it's just gorgeous. So really pretty shades in there. In this fun paisley on an ivory background. Um, it has this fun sleeve here where you have a little bit of like gathering and it just gives you that fun again that blousing and billowing in the sleeve and then I love when sleeves give you this extra fabric there that just kind of falls on your hand but they're not super duper long so you you know they're not um bell sleeves that are like that you're you know dancing with or dragging in your food or while you're cooking or that kind of thing. So super cute. Again, runs true to size. This one is 100% ran. So not a lot of stretch, but you can see I have some roominess in my body. I'm shown here in the small. If you're busty, again, I'd say stay true to size. You shouldn't need to size up in it unless you're exceptionally chesty. You might want to go up a size just to give you that extra room so you don't have any pulling. But there is some extra room here um, for a larger bust. So super cute. Love, love, love this one and I hope you guys do too. And I'm going to go ahead and get changed again. Oh man, pant change. Oh, pant change. <laughs> we are entering another pant change. I feel like y'all need to request Christine put some more things on. Like she's getting off, <laughs> getting off really easy today. I am. <laughs> if you need to borrow my face bag, feel free. <laughs> I think I'm good, thank you. Aww. I don't think that's a shareable item. <laughs> One size fits most. <laughs> My hair just won't fit in there. Oh. Probably not very COVID friendly. Either. I'm sure it's not. Okay. And pants. are so comfortable. Okay. Can I get away with not um, tying my shoes or will I probably trip and fall? You'll probably trip and fall, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> we'll Just survive. fall away from the camera. Fall <laughs> She always has such good advice. Such <laughs> sisterly <laughs> advice, isn't it? Like... That's exactly what a sister would say. Just fall, Just fall away. away okay. So next up here, let me get myself situated while I'm out here. All right, you guys. So um, a couple weeks ago, we released an Ampersand Avenue um, half sip in this fun light camo. And we released it with these cute little joggers that came out, which I am brought back out today to wear with this new full zip ampersand Avenue. Since I've carried ampersand, we have not had a full zip sweatshirt or hoodie come out. And so I'm super excited for them. I love a good full zip sweatshirt. And if you have these pants, if you didn't get the top or if you did get the top and you want to have some flexibility with what you style with it, love, love, love the versatility with this. You of course don't have to get the joggers. You can just go with um, the top of the jacket part, the full zip hoodie. But you guys, it is awesome. This is a fleece lined material, just like the joggers. So I know that uh, there was a question on that. If these, these are fully slimed, super soft, nice and thick, so cozy and comfy, especially during colder weather. And the jacket is the same. So I am shown here in the small jacket. These are a medium to low stretch, I would say. And so I'm shown here in the small, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm shown in the small, which for me, it feels quite fitted. I would be most comfortable in this one going up a size. So that way I have a little bit extra room. I don't like my um, hoodies oversized, but I just don't like to feel like I'm squished in them. And because this doesn't have a ton of stretch, I feel like it's kind of snug around my hips. If I wanted to wear it, well, I don't want to wear it up there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like if I wanted to wear it up here, it would be fine. 
I don't, nope, I don't want to. Is. Yeah. It's on no, I don't want to. I like to wear them down here, kind of around my hips, and I would like to size up one so that it gives me a little bit more room there. So I would highly recommend sizing up one to two, depending on your desired fit. Um, it doesn't hurt to go up a size or to go up two if you know you like something a little bit roomier and oversized. Um, this does have, of course, our thumb holes on it. Like I said, first full zip that we've brought, been able to bring in since we have had ampersand here in the boutique. Um, so it has the thumb holes on it and it's just this really cool print in the camo in the lighter shades and we love it. So this one is going to be available today. The joggers are already available on the site. And like I said, they come or that also comes with doesn't come with, comes in a half zip hoodie option. Um, we do have new tees today. So this is the Lulu tee from Ampersand. We've had these before in um, long sleeve. And I think we've had a couple in like the stripes um, or some different prints. So we do have them now in the short sleeve. I love these tees because they're a great basic with just a nice v-neck. They're a great quality, like always with the ampersand. They have a little bit of added length on them. You can just see my little tie under there. Um, but they have a little bit of added length on them, which is nice. And I love the sleeve length because you get some good coverage on the sleeve where they're not a cap sleeve, but they give you some nice coverage. Now I'm shown here in the small. So in the small, I have a little bit of roominess here in the body. This is the size I would stay in. Some people want more room than than this you want it to fit a little bit more like a relaxed fit tee um, or a men's tee then I would say go up a size have you tried one of these on or what did you do in the Lulu I do the 3x in the Lulu okay tube. in this material I guess I haven't tried that material but because I wonder remember we one. had an olive in in black yep did the 3x in those Okay. In the long sleeve. That was the long sleeve, but I did okay. the 3X. Same material, though, on these. So if you tried the Lulu T in the long sleeve, I would say stay with the same size in them because they're a very similar fit. In those Lulu tees in the long sleeve, I stayed in the, my true size small. And the ones that were the French Terry, those are the ones that I had to size up in because I had they just didn't have a lot of stretch or give to them. So anyways, these are really great. Available in white and in black today. These are going to release on the site. And they are just awesome. I love the thickness of the material because it's not sheer um, at all. So they're just a really great basic good layering tee. So I think that covers these. Oh, and these joggers too. I know I already had the black on, but um, I'm in the medium in these. And I know I talked about that with the black when I was in them, but I went with the medium in this size. If you guys have questions on jogger sizing, please don't hesitate to ask or on any sizing. We are happy to help you with that. So I'm going to change again. <laughs> All these pants though. Ching, ching, ching. really see my feet so it doesn't matter what shoes I wear. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever are the easiest to put on at this point. Okay. Oh, that's a cute outfit. Is it? Okay well I can take it back. <laughs> yeah it is. <laughs> oh this new lovers. So sassy tonight. So sassy. Um, okay, you guys, this is super cute. So y'all saw one blazer already tonight that we brought in or the cute little peplum jacket where here is another one. If you are not into the animal print, um, or if you are and you're like, I really need some cute jackets for work. This is a great option for spring. Again, these are a medium to lightweight, so they're not super heavy. Um, 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So they do have some stretch to them. I love, love, love this great neutral one. So this is this really pretty tan kind of a khaki color with a white stripe, which again, I feel like is so classic. I have it just paired here over that Lulu tee that we just talked about. And then I have it paired with these super fun Judy Blue high rise. Mid seam. Mid seam. Oh yeah, because they've got these cute front seams here. Back seam too, right? Yep. And on the back, they've got those seams that run down the front and the back. Flare jeans. Flare jeans. Sorry, and you guys, I you were waiting on me. Yes, I was. <laughs> and you guys, these are like super flare. So fun. These are all the rage, like coming back. And I know they've made their cycle. Some of us are surprised to see flare jeans back, but 
they are here and they are so cute. These do run long. I believe they're a 34 and a half inch inseam. Um, they do have a raw edge around the bottom with just one stitch of um one stitch around to secure that edge so it doesn't fray up anymore they are one that ones that are easy to be hemmed so if you're like uh 34 and a half inch inseam is a little long it's a little long on me too and i have a heel on um these are going to be an easy one that you could have hemmed or do just do the old-fashioned like cut them off trick um like back in the day when i was in high school and flares were were the all the rage and even my mom was uh seamstress and we still just like chopped them off um and didn't have her sew them so love this if you guys missed these little peplum jackets at the beginning they are a great basic they just are the cutest little i love the detail how this falls it gives you a nice little waistline that they do not button or any type of closure i'd say they they run quite true to size you can see i have some natural roominess in my sleeve they have some stretch to them with that spandex and I'd say stay true to size in them. So comfortable, super cute. I threw on this um, earring that we started in the Maya earring. I figured with my statement to uh, flare jeans, I needed a statement earring to go with them. And this is just such a fun and cute combo. So love, love, love this one, you guys. Love this for, like I said, dress up, girls night out, anything like that. You can definitely wear this. I mean, this is one of those that like spans ages where you can funk it up and wear it fun, or you can definitely wear it as a more serious to work piece. And it's just going to be one that you can, you can style a lot of different ways. And I love things like that, where we are not feeling like we're super limited to like, that's a work only piece or that's a going out only piece. So, so cute, fun with jeans, but great with a dress pant too. And I think Christine is getting changed to come on out here. Yeah. Um, She's throwing something on for y'all to see. Since I can't see comments and I feel like I'm here all by myself and Christine ignores me. <laughs> I know, I feel like it's all, like I can't see comments, I don't see hearts, I see nothing and I'm like, I'm all by myself. It's basically like I'm pre-recording this with nobody here. I should um, pre-record like doing Reese's hair next time. So that y'all don't have to go through the agony of watching us struggle. <laughs> Cut and paste the right parts in. Yeah. Oh, I tell ya. What a cute little jacket. No, that's a fun one. I love this it. This is so cute. I got a message asking if I had tried this on yet, and I have not, so I wanted to put it on. So I really love the fit of this i am in the one x in this brand i always wear the one x um it's their true extra large they're small medium large extra large and so the one x in this brand is intended to fit a 14 16 man i am out of breath <laughs> holy moly um just so, imagine how i feel oh gosh she wants a pity party <laughs> Black wouldn't necessarily be my shirt of choice to wear under this, but it definitely has, you know, just a cute I think little. Cute with do you it. like black with yeah, it? I, I really do. loved the white with it, but I guess black helps the colors pop. So I am in the 1X, and I think that it fits really well everywhere. The shoulders are very comfortable. There are a couple of things that I would note. The sleeves, I might even try to do a cute little cuff in them just because they hit me slightly above the wrist bone and that is not a length that I particularly love on myself. I don't think that there's anything wrong with it just above the wrist bone. I just feel like there's something well, that's cute with uncomfortable about it. I either want it long or I want it more three quarters. So I would pop a little cuff in here just to give it a little bit of detail. Now, I wanna mention, if you are more on the side of a 1214, I would probably drop down to the large. Here's the reason why. It hangs open like a cardigan, and so I feel like I've got a little bit more fabric here than I think Rachel did in her size. The shoulders are a really good fit. There's also no pulling, so there is some room, and it's a stretchy material, so if you're more of a 10, 12, or a 1214, you could definitely do the large in this one, okay, because it hangs open. But I would still stay in this 1X for my particular sizing, which if you missed it earlier, I'm a size 14, 16, and I wear a large, extra large, or 1X in tops. So this is a stay true to size. If you tend to be on it in between sizes, I would drop down to your smaller one. 
I hope that makes sense. So I think Rachel is ready with her next outfit and I'll go see if there are any questions or comments and I'll get the next details up. Oh, she's going to try and remember the name. <laughs> Oh, is it? and I'm like, I got hair strips hanging out here. Okay, so next up, you guys, this is the um, a Smooth Talker Dolman Top. We love a good Dolman Top, and um, I feel like it's been a bit, I don't know, maybe we have florals more than I feel like we do, but this is a super pretty floral. I thought, like, with spring coming, this is just a really great, like, a pastel color. We kind of get out of pastels in wintertime. Um, so this is a really, really pretty creamy color background. If some people are like, I can't do white, this is a nice shade of like a cream and then has some really soft tones here in this floral print of like a rosy pink. You've got a little bit of a like sunshiny yellow and then a pretty sage color. Um, it does have a dolman style sleeve and a little bit more of an open neckline, um, but dolman style sleeve. So that's when you get kind of get this where the shoulder drops into that dolman. It's a little bit more fitted on the arm and then just gives you that roomy fit. So with a dolman sleeve, you get plenty of room in the body and in the chest and they tend to be a little bit more fitted around your hips. So that's typically how a dolman is, you know, styled wise is that you have that room. So this is a for sure stay true to size. You can size down if you want because of the roominess in the body. I'd say especially if you aren't busty, you could go down a size. This is a lightweight French terry material. So it has some stretch to it, um, but it's not like super, super stretchy, uh, like, you know, just a jersey knit or that type of material. This is 65% poly, 32 rayon, 3% spandex. Um, and I just, I love a good dolman i think that they're a great throw on and go top especially when they are a pretty print i still have this one paired with these fun flare jeans um to like spruce it up a little bit or you know make it a little bit on the younger side because i think that when you have florals sometimes they can go either way and so i just absolutely love 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 this threw on that fun big macrame earring for a fun ear or fun earring that fun macrame earring how many times can i say earring mm -hmm. but threw on that big macrame earring for a good statement piece and just to pull out some of those pink tones but i love 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 this one all of these things today, I hardly said what sizes they're available in because everything is available in either extra small through 3X or small through 3X, right? I think everything today everything. Yep, was available in full size runs. So we didn't have to really talk about like this one's only available in small through large because everything today is available in the full size runs that we can get. So I think that covers this one now and I'm going to go change again. Pant change. Pantalones. Christine really is getting off easy tonight, you guys. I really am. I don't know how this has happened. A couple weeks ago, I think you tried on like just about every single outfit. Yes, but I think it depends who's watching. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> that is true. It definitely depends who's watching and what they want to see. That's true. Okay. Oh, I love this one. Love this one. I know that's another really nice one. I mean, they're all nice. What yeah. am I saying? They're all nice. Okay. If we sing over the music, <laughs> we'll. I have warn no her. idea. Well, people, we've seen people do karaoke, right? This is true. We have seen them do karaoke. I, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Yeah, I don't know that I want to ruin our lives with karaoke. <laughs> I agree. No, that's good. Okay, here, let me get all adjusted. We actually have a mirror down here. Ian put one up a couple weeks ago for us so that we can see ourselves, but I don't always go peeking it before I walk out here. All right, you guys. So we've had a big ampersand night today, which is always fun. We love ampersand because this one is a good variety too. Um, so this is an ampersand Avenue performance fleece in teal. And you guys, this is a really dark shade of teal, almost like a spruce, right? Like a blue spruce. Ooh. No, she says no. I think blue spruce is teal <laughs> green. <laughs> Well, 
this is teal and it's really quite dark teal you guys but it is just a beautiful jewel tone so pretty the performance fleece so soft super stretchy um and just so comfortable perfect for this time of year and what's nice is that it's super warm it's that cozy material but it's lighter weight so you don't get a lot of bulk with these um with them being in the performance fleece again triple stretch so super stretchy on these and this one has that full kangaroo pocket on the front half zip so it zips down halfway but I love 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 the color of this and how soft it is I have this one over one of our seamless tanks in the burgundy I think is what one I have on yes yes and then I have a paired with the Judy Blue bleach splatter boyfriends um and I know that there's something about the raw ham, destroyed ham or something in these. But these are the boyfriend fit jeans, you guys. And I get a lot of questions about like, stay true to size or go down a size. These are a mid-rise. So they're hitting me still kind of just at my belly button. Um, there's sometimes not a lot of adjustment there between mid and high rise. So these are hitting me right about at my belly button. And boyfriends tend to be looser fit here right throughout the thigh and then down. So they're like a relaxed fit. So we have more material here in this area. Now these are ones that I could go down a size. I have extra room here, so I could go down a size. But for the intended boyfriend fit, I say stay true to size. Stay true to your size, your Judy Blue size, for the intended boyfriend fit. If you want them to be more fitted and like a relaxed fit jean, then go down one from your normal Judy Blue size. So I could go down, but to keep that boyfriend look as intended, um, then I stay true to size in, in them. So this one does have a little bit of flexibility. They are a lighter wash with that cute bleach splatter detail. I'm just finding strings today all over the place. Um, with that cute little bleach splatter detail, which is so fun. And they are just awesome. And again, like I said, they have that cute little uh, like raw edge detail here, which is just super fun and relaxed. So I am loving this combo in this new ampersand. And I'm going to go ahead and get changed. I think Christina is going to come on out here. Yeah. She's going to show her face again. So I'm going to change while she does that. I am. Where is it? I have smooth talker. Smooth talker floral. Smooth talker. <laughs> I just had to run the whole warehouse floor <laughs> because I pulled the wrong floral shirt for myself. <laughs> I have a little basket set off to the side of one of everything in my yeah. size so that if it's ever asked that I try something on and I picked it up and I was like, this doesn't look like the right floral. <laughs> so I went trucking it all the way over to our uh, receiving room to find the right one. But this is that Smooth Talker and this is in the 1X. Again, that's this brand's extra large size. So large right to 1X. Man, if I thought I was out of breath after changing an outfit. <laughs> I am out of breath after running that warehouse floor. I need to do more flights of stairs or something or maybe go to the gym. We have here that we've been trying to like, you know, do, do work on our breathing skills. Yeah, because we're up on the third floor. So every morning we'll take the stairs up, but man, that elevator is real nice after that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this is the 1X. I would definitely stay true to size in this. I wouldn't size flex in this one at all. I really am loving the coverage in the back. There's just this slight, the ever so slight high-low effect where it comes down just under your bum and covers everything back there. I wouldn't say that it's long enough to wear with leggings. I would definitely stick with jeans or dress pants or something in that category. But definitely, you know, plenty of room in here with that dolman style sleeve and this is a for sure stay true to size but just the cutest and i'm not usually a floral person i think we've talked about this before i like stripes love some animal print but with the right big chunky jewelry this would be a fun one and i think that i could actually wear some floral so anyway this one is a stay true to size this is the one x on me and I think Rachel is ready to come back out. I think I just took this earring off, but I'm going to put it back on. Ooh, cute. Yeah. Oh, I have a different earring on over here. I forgot to put that on. Okay. All right, you guys. So um, this is absolutely gorgeous. This, I'm like screaming spring. Please spring, come. Please, please, please. Christine was gawking at this one um, as soon as it like was hanging on the rack and she's like, that is so 
pretty you guys so this is we already talked about the single hood ampersands a little bit earlier today so this is a single hood um in this really cool we've seen some of them before that have this asymmetrical detail to them or the color blocking with that asymmetrical diagonal cut and you guys they are just awesome like look at how cool the sleeves line up how fun that is and this one in these beautiful colors it's got this great blush up top a really pure white and then this gorgeous coral tone down here at the bottom um, again, single hoods. Everything about this one is the same as the maple one that we saw earlier. These are fleece lined, so they're a little bit of a thicker material, but they have nice stretch to them. So they're pretty stretchy. This would be one, stay true to size. Um, I'm in, shown here in the small or size up one to two, depending on your desired fit. So this is one Christine goes up a size, like she said. With these welt pockets, if it's pulling too much, they can tend to kind of pucker. So that would be something that if you carry more weight in your midsection you for sure probably want to go up a size to um, alleviate those kind of pulling and then puckering open and that being uncomfortable for you but you guys these are it's just absolutely gorgeous I love it the difference too with um single or single hoods that I didn't talk about is they don't have the thumb hole detail so it just has this really nice banded cuff there around your wrist and it is awesome so love 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 this one it is a great go-to pretty pretty colors and just fabulous so um if you guys have questions please Please let us know. Otherwise, Christine is probably getting ready to load inventory as we speak. This is our last out, our last outfit of the night. So we're going to go ahead and load goodies for you guys to shop, shoprachelclark.com, or you can shop on the app if you have it. If you have any questions, let us know. But otherwise, happy shopping, and we will see you all soon. So have a good Wednesday night, rest of the week, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.